so you can play. Hey everyone, welcome to another Warmer 40k League Battle Report. As always, my name is Jay, and once again, I am joined. I don't even think he needs an introduction, but we'll give him one just in case, because he's an internet celebrity by now. His name is... Ross. Ross, and he's the other Dark Angel player, right? So it's us two, we represent the Dark Angels right now. And that's really cool. So today, Ross's opponent didn't show up. So I'm stepping in, and I'm playing Dark Angels versus Dark Angels, and once again, it will be Deathwing versus Ravenwing. Right now, Samuel, Belial, they just don't get along. You know why? Uh, no. Did one of them like trip each other as a kid or something? You know what? I'm guessing it has something to do with Samuel's supposed to be bold on the point of being reckless, so he probably just calls Ryle out. That's. That's what I would guess. Maybe. Maybe. I'll write that story. Yeah. Okay. Works for me. Yeah, and today we're playing 1950 points because uh, I didn't have enough. I, I stepped in last minute and he was already had a 2000 point list, so I had 1950. So we're playing 1950. It's a fun, it's an interesting points level. We haven't yet rolled off our deployment type or game type yet. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And in further ado, we'll get to the armies and the deployment. And once again, we'll start off with my Dark Angel army, the Deathwing. For a full army list, please check out our pre game show, but you'll see it's run by by Belial and Ezekiel, and it's full of Deathwing, and a Land Raider Redeemer, and some Deathwing Knights, and a Devastator Squad, and that's my army. Now 1950 points of Ross's Dark Angel army, and as you can see, he's running his Ravenwing army, full of the models that he typically runs, led by Samuel, tons of bikes, there's a Bike Command Squad, and some Land Speeders as well as two Devastator squads, so it's a lot of fun, a lot of speed, and I'm excited to see another Dark Angels versus Dark Angel match. Once again, if you want to see a full army list in the details, please check out our pre-game show. So we roll to see what type of game we're playing. Ross rolls a five. Means Emperor's Will, one objective in each zone, one for deployment, so Dawn of War, and one, no knife fighting. So we roll to see who goes first. Ross rolls a five. I don't know if I can beat that. So I roll my dice and I roll a two. So he decides that he's going to go first. So here's what the board looks like at deployment. My deployment was a lot simpler than his. I put my land raider, uh, my knights in it there. Deathwing are coming in from Zerv. Devastator is there with my librarian attached. Let's see. And on the other side, a whole lot of guys. I got a whole up. lot of guys Fine. all lined up along the side, ready to attack me, and we'll see what happens in turn one. But first, scout moves and sees the initiative. So I'm in a little bit of trouble, seeing as Ravenwing are very fast, and I knew that there's basically nowhere on the board I could hide from them. So I tried to just keep my guys in the corners. Um, you'll see how well that works. But uh, so he scouts up. Basically, Ravenwing was scout. If they are allowed to go first, they are dangerous as are white scars because they can close the gap of the battlefield instantly. They, especially in this Dawn of War deployment, they can move 12 inches during their uh, scout, as you can see here. And then they can move another 12 inches during the movement phase of turn one, and they'll be right in your face instantly. I do have a couple things. They, it'll be hard for him to destroy my Land Raider Redeemer, and I do have that Flamer, which is pretty nasty against Ravenwing, but we'll have to see how things go. But just during the scout moves first, he just moves up and crosses that uh, the battlefield pretty quickly. And the thing is, his entire army, basically, minus the Devastators, can use scouts. So, they're fast. I try to seize, and I fail by rolling a three. So it is Ross's Dark Angels turn one. So now he just completes the gap. And as you can see, where did that gap between armies go? Originally it was 24 inches, and now it is basically nothing. Because he had to move at a slight angle. So his bikes just move up super fast, and uh, I'll basically, just to give you a heads up, my army I just put together last minute, because as I mentioned, Ross's opponent did not show up, and I just love to play, and I want to have a good time, and we love to see Dark Angels versus Dark Angels, so I stepped in with my standard army, and I did allow him to uh, reconfigure his army for, uh, for my army. It is slightly different, not too different. He was going to bring this army regardless, but uh, he did... You know, I allowed him to reconfigure if he, uh, facing da Dark Angels because he originally was supposed to be, he originally was supposed to be facing our orcs. So now he just moves up all of his guys, and everyone just moves up, and he's going to get a very clear shot of my Devastators. I had to start at least half my guys on the board, so I start my Devastators and my Librarian, which hopefully they can just survive right now. Unfortunately, I knew there was very little places I said that could uh, hide them from the board, based on the range of their guns and everything. They could basically shoot my guys regardless, so I just tried to hug as much terrain as I could. Okay. 
as you can see, a lot of movement. And that's just a normal hill. We were playing just a normal hill, so no dangerous terrain there. And finally, the land speeders move up. And they're just going to get a better shot off of my guys. I'm not too worried about missiles. I'll get cover saves. Unfortunately, there's no night fighting. If there was night fighting turn one, I'd be very happy because then I'd be in good shape. But uh, no night fighting. And as you can see, the gap, they just start unloading on those devastators. So many shots. And with that banner, it makes all of the guns salvo, which is just so awesome and so nasty against your guys. So roll my armor saves. Fail a bunch of them. And half my Devastator squad is wiped out instantly. And then he keeps firing. As I said, all of his bolters become salvo. All of his plasma guns are salvo. Everything is salvo. I keep failing my armor saves. But I roll well on my cover saves. So uh, that's not bad. I only failed one cover save. But I failed three of my armor saves. So I'm now down to only two more Devastators and the Librarian. And the firing just keeps coming. So uh, I keep rolling. This is... I fail my another armor. So now down to one more Devastator. I look out the Sir off my Librarian. And I do my cover save off the last Devastator. Either way, I figure he's going to get first blood if I fail it. And I'm lucky and I pass it. And then he just tries to finish off that one Devastator. He gets a bunch of shots with his Plasma. And he actually gets hot and loses a, uh, a Biker due to Plasma shots. That's pretty funny. But uh, that's what happens when you have so many Plasma shots. You will eventually lose a guy due to it gets hot. So I roll my... my Armor saves, and I fail the second one, so the Devastator... Oh, sorry, it was cocked, so I get to reroll. And they're all good. And my sixth one, I finally fail. took six dice to fail, so I lost my Devastator, and that is first blood. And then I roll my Librarian, and he's okay. And then they keep firing my Librarian, because he's the only thing that he uh, can shoot at, essentially. It's a couple wounds, but I pass my armor save. He has a two-up armor save because he's Ezekiel. He has no invul, remember that. But he does have a cover save because he's in terrain. And I fail one, so he has two wounds left. And then the firing just keeps going. Basically, he figures if he can wipe out my librarian, that'll prevent my psychic power, especially mind worm. I really want to mind worm um, Samuel right now. And I pass all my armor saves. And he's okay. I keep rolling. And he's okay. I rolled eight armor saves, and he passed all of them. Then he decides to shoot my tower. Remember, these are just for tertiary points for the league, and they have no bearing on the game itself. And they don't count for first blood, as in the rules of the league. And he blows up the tower. And then we see if it wounds anybody around him, and it doesn't. So, and he keeps trying to fire my librarian. He really wants to kill my librarian, but... He doesn't. My life. Ezekiel wants to stay strong, and he is still alive. So now it is my Dark Angels turn one. I did roll a leadership check, I believe, for uh, Ezekiel. Or no, Ezekiel's fearless. Or I might have rolled a leadership check. But either way, it's okay. So I drop in my Deathwing. Luckily, they land exactly where I want them to. There's no mishaps on the second one. And they land close to where they are, and hopefully I'll get some shots off. And unfortunately, the third one scattered 10 inches back. That's not where I wanted them to go. They scatter near my objective, which is okay, because then they'll go and guard my objective. But I really want to be as offensive as possible this turn, and just get as much shooting off, and that will prevent it, because I'll be slightly out of range of stuff. But that they learn there. I roll my dangerous terrain checks, because they all land on terrain. And I fail two. I roll my... Armor saves, and I actually fail one. So my, I decided my leader, he's dead already. Uh, things are just not going to roll well for me, as you can see in this game. So my second power from Mindworm. Oh, sorry, I move him up through terrain first. Because Mindworm is a shooting attack. So I'll do that in the shooting phase. And I move up my Land Raider Redeemer, and I'll hopefully be able to flame. Unfortunately, he's pretty far back. I so I'm going to move him up 12 inches and use Power of the Machine Spirit to uh, flame that one bike and shoot the rest of the bike. Maybe I'll be able to kill it. So I try to Mind Worm Samuel. I do my Psychic Test, and it goes off. He tries to deny him the Witch. He tries to deny, and he fails. So I get to Mind Worm him. I get two shots because it's D3. I need twos to hit, and I get two hits, and then I need... Uh, fives to wound. Because there's Thompson's five because he's on a bike. So fives to wound. And this is AP2, but he has an invol. So I got one wound. And then he has a four up invol. So uh, I'm not expecting really to do anything to him. But statistically, I'm not going to, but it's going to be fun. So he rolls and he fails. So then he loses D3 initiative, ballistic skill, weapon skill. 
Uh, that's awesome. So right now, Samuel just instantly got nerfed pretty badly. So I decided to flame that one bike and shoot the rest of my, rest of my weapons at him. I do wound him with the flamer, so there's one wound for sure on him. And then the rest of the shots are going to be uh, snap fire. And nothing hits, but luckily it is twin linked. So I have to re-roll, and nothing hits again. Luck is just not on my side so far this game, but we'll see what happens. And nothing with the multi melta So there's one wound, and he's still alive. So then the Deathwing shoot at the back of the dark... Vengeance, or the Vengeance, and uh, unfortunately he does get his cover saves regardless of where he goes. It's like a three-up jink regardless, so uh, I'm hoping to hit it and maybe glance it to death with my Stormbolter Fire. It only has two hull points, and unfortunately I don't get a single six with any of my Stormbolters, so nothing there, and then twos needed with my rock with my missiles. I get two pens. He has three-up cover saves. Fails one. So it is dice plus one, because it is open top, I believe. And I roll a one. So it'll have to snap fire next turn, but it's okay. It has one hull point left. Once again, unfortunate. So I start firing at his Devastators. I figure if I can wipe them off the board, that will help me a lot, because I am afraid of their AP2 plasma cannons. That's pretty scary when you have an entire Deathwing army. Luckily, my weapons are twin length to try the turn that I deep strike in. And I got a, actually several wounds on him, which is pretty nice. And then I shoot my assault cannon. I need twos to wound with sixes rending. I get two wounds, including a rend. And I said, we're not playing that as terrain. It's just a hill. So he loses one, and then he rolls his, his armor checks and fails two more. And then with the other ones, he rolls... And fails two more. So... It's down to two more. And then I fire the rest of the Devastators. I really just figure I might as well kill them this turn, get them off the board, and uh, save some AP Tunis off me. And luckily I get a bunch of hits. I hit with pretty much everything, almost all my bolters, uh, which is pretty nice. I get four wounds on them. And then my Assault Cannon, I get three, three wounds. So he rolls his armor saves and fails a couple, and the Devastators are gone. And I declare my assault on Samuel. I figure might as well. I can go for him. Maybe I'll kill him. And if I can get super lucky, uh, maybe I'll be able to kill him, get a Slay the Warlord, and that'll balance out the game because he got first blood. But he overwatches on me and gets nothing. I roll my distance. And I get four inches, which is not enough. That's what the board looks like after one turn. Basically, I landed and I killed his devastators after he went first and killed my devastators. So the devastators are dead. Devastators do not belong on this table at all. Except for them. Other than they're next. You know them. So we'll see what happens in turn two. Also, I, I heavily warped his uh, Sammy. What is he? Weapon skill two? Mega mod. Three. Ballistic skill two. So now it's Ross's Dark Angels turn two. So now he's gonna turn around and just light up those Deathwing. All my death all my models are on the table, so his goal right now is just to destroy me as much as possible. That way if he can just kill me and prevent me from getting linebreaker, because right now first blood is really important in a game um, of Emperor's Will. Basically, a lot, most of the time I've played, whoever gets first blood ends up winning the game because it's really hard to just get each other's objectives. And unfortunately for me, Ravenwing are the best army that I could be. Um, are really, really good army for Emperor's Will because they're so fast that they can bounce around the field and uh, possibly score or contest both sides. So right now his goal is just to prevent me from contesting his objective because he knows that I'll be barely able to cross the field. I have a much slower army than him. That's why I had to deep strike where I wanted to, but if he kills him, I can't move around the field. So he tries to kill my uh, my Land Raider. He gets one pen. I make him re-roll it and ends up being a an immobilized. So now the it was originally going to be explodes, but now it's just immobilized. I'm happier with that one, so now I can still shoot and flame things as they go by. And he keeps shooting at my, libra at my uh, librarian. And my tower, he, basically right now he wants to kill my librarian in a challenge. Because he's just having fun with Samuel. And he blows up the tower. That's right in front of the two of them. 
And uh, then he starts firing at my Deathwing. He figures if he can kill all my troops, I can not score objectives on his side, and he'll be in good shape. He does have the first point advantage, so we'll see what happens there. Essentially, I have to get Lionbreaker or Slay the Warlord and get make sure my objective is on uh, to win this game. I roll my armor saves, fail one, so one Deathwing's dead, and he decides to pick on that one squad since it's been weakened. Might as well see if he can finish it off. That way it limits the amount of things I can assault next turn. I roll my armor saves, they're all good. Then he fires, at, he drops a pipe blade on them. Several pipe blades actually, and two of them hit. Hits a few wounds. Of course he needs fives to wound. I roll my armor saves, they're all good. Then he shoots him again with the other land speeder. Luckily, my guys are pretty far away from his Plasma, so I won't be in that crazy shape this turn. Uh, he can't light me up that badly with Plasma, but you'll still see. He has a lot of Plasma guns on his bikes, and they're going to do some serious damage to my guys, seeing as they go right through their armor. And right there, I lose alone. I lose three of my Deathwing due to bad armor saves. And then he drops another pipe blade on the smaller squad. First one hits. Second one scatters off. Third one hits. And the other one hits as well. So he gets a bunch of hits on my guys with all these pie plates. And uh, several wounds. This is where with the uh, the other Devastator squad. I roll all my armor saves. Fail one. And one more is dead. And then Samuel assaults my librarian. I try to overwatch. I don't get anything. And he gets in. So that's going to be a fun challenge. And then they assault my tank, trying to destroy it with, uh, I think, a melt bomb I think that was their chance with one melt bomb in the squad. Uh, but besides that, they don't really have much that can kill a, li a land raider. And they put themselves in really good flaming distance for next turn. So I get to go first. Any threes to hit, and fives to wound. I get one wound, and he fails his sin ball. Uh, I can't instant kill him because he has Eternal Warrior, and then he hits back. Gets... Pits with pretty much everything and wounds with everything and ends up killing my guy because I don't have an invol save. So there he goes. That's a challenge kill. And he consolidates. And then the melt bomb misses, and now it's my Dark Angel's turn too. So once again, I move up my Deathwing. I'm gonna move up my Deathwing. I can't move my Land Raider because uh I'm just gonna flame guys. Maybe I'll hop my guys out depending on the turn. So I move back my Deathwing into terrain just in case. And then the other guys are going to go and assault. Hopefully kill those Devastators and maybe a speeder or two. Because once again, if I can just lock him up in combat for a couple turns, that'd be great. Because then he can't shoot me and I may hopefully kill him on my on his turn. Then I can just bounce between combats the rest of the game. Deathwing are pretty strong in close combat. Once they get into close combat, I have to really avoid those plasma guns in the command squad. Since they're salvo and they are really nasty against my Deathwing. So I decided that I'm going to have to do a multi-assault because that's my best chance of assaulting. Uh, well, I'm going to just shoot first and then I'll see what happens. And I decided to jump out Belial and his Deathwing Knights because that way they can join and after flaming that squad and shooting them, I can go and assault them and probably wipe out that squad of bikers. I have good amount of faith in my guys that they'll survive. I start shooting at the attack bike because it does have a multi melt I really want to take it out so that it can't destroy my land raider so I do hit it with my assault cannon and then then all my bolter fire and my bolt, my storm bolters need fives to wound because it's an attack bike I get three wounds there so four wounds total he rolls four armor saves fails two of them so the attack bike is gone and then I flame all those guys. I hit four of them, I believe, with my flamer. That's pretty nasty, seeing as I need threes to wound them. And you'll see how much damage that one flamer does. My assault cannon kind of whiffs, but then I get to reroll. And I get three hits in the end. And then my multi melta misses as well. My multi melta never hits. And I need threes to wound with the flamer. Oh, sorry, this is the uh, assault cannon. Six is rend. So I get two rends and a wound. And then with the heavy flamer. I get three wounds. So three just die, because they don't get cover saves. Or there's involves potentially. But uh, So I take out a lot of them. 
And then the rest of them roll their cover saves. And uh, he tries to look at Sirt off his leader, and he's successful. And then the next one... Fails it. And then it goes on the leader, which is three up armor. And he's okay. So everyone but the leader is dead. So I don't even think I'll need to uh, go into spite mode this turn. So I try to split fire the assault cannon onto the one speeder before assaulting the other. That way I can pop both of them in one turn. I do pass my leadership check for the assault cannon. I need threes to hit. I get only two hits. I'm going to great for twin linking. And armor's ten, so I need fours to hit. Fours to glance, fives to pen. And I whiff again. Uh, as I said, my luck in this game wasn't too good, but I've had a fun time. I love playing against Ross. We both enjoy playing Dark Angels, so it's always great playing him. And I shoot the other one with my Storm Bolters. I got one glance. He passes his cover save, so he's okay. And then he passes his leadership check, so he's okay. And then I declare my assault. I'm going to assault him. And I'm going to multi-assault. That way I can grab the two of them and hopefully destroy both of them in the same time. So they overwatch, and this is pretty nasty, because overwatching is just brutal. So he overwatches, gets one wound, but no uh, one hit, no wound. And the other one shoots as well. Gets one hit with the Melta. And that uh, doesn't end up doing anything, because I pass my invul. So the others, ju they jump in, I multi-assault the two, closest to closest, and uh, it's all good. And I get my assault in. And as you can see, my guys will finally do well. I'm not even going to go into smite mode because I think I just the number of attacks should be able to finish them off. And then I assault the uh, the Devastator squad, and they don't do anything. They don't hit with anything. And I assault the Land Speeders and the Dark Vengeance as well. I don't multi assault, unfortunately. So first, the Devastator Deathwing attacks. They go first. They get two two wounds but I pass both my armor saves and then I hit back and I only need two to squish and I end up killing three of them I was hoping to kill three of them because that way I was hoping they won't fa fail their their leadership check since they have stubborn and they're passed they're okay so that'll be a tied in combat and maybe I'll be able to kill them and then bounce between combats for the rest of the game and then to the dark to land speeder and, and dark vengeance I get several pens I make it explode it hits back on my guys he gets two wounds and I fail both of my armor saves so I lose two terminators Due to an exploding Dark Vengeance. I did not see that coming. That was so crazy. And then the other combat. He gets to go first. He hits my guys. Doesn't do anything. I swing away. And as you can kind of see what's going to happen. He goes bye bye Because of uh, Belial alone with the Thunder Hammer Storm Shield just pops him. And then same with the attack bike. Uh, attack bike gets the first. He ends up killing actually one of my guys. I fail another armor save. And then I hit back, and once again, he goes bye bye. And he is gone. And I get to consolidate, and I consolidate four inches. After two turns, here's what the battlefield looks like. Right now, Deathwing have taken some heavy, heavy, heavy casualties. Heavy. This heavy, heavy casualties. I lost two Terminators alone to an exploding dark trap. Didn't see that one coming, but it was funny. Over there, they're locked in combat. One guy left from the exploding dark trap. They're at full strength near the objective. But there's still a lot of stuff I can do them. And uh, yeah, I was able to nerf Bull Isle pretty couple out. Some mail pretty bad. But uh, besides that, Raven Wing are doing pretty well. We'll see what happens in turn three. So now it is Ross's Dark Angels, turn three. So once again, he just starts moving up. He wants to go take out my remaining knights. Uh, he's not too afraid of them, though I can go into smite mode, and I get cover at the moment, but a cover is the same as my invul. Oh, sorry, I have a three bliss invul anyway, so he might as well go for him. Maybe I'll pop my land raider. He just wants to keep at... He just wants to stay at a slight distance so that my flamer will be nerfed. I can't move it. So uh, it would have been great to bring a tech marine in this game. And he moves up everyone. He's Right now his goal is just to shoot at any... Deathwing that he can. Right now, my Deathwing are heavily whittled down, but I'm hoping to just keep them alive, keep them in close combat, and that way they can uh, survive. Because if not, they'll they won't survive the uh, they'll barely survive the Overwatch from these bikes right now with all that plasma. So he starts shooting at my Deathwing Knights. They are toughness five in the moment because they're in shield formation, I believe. But he gets a bunch of wounds. I pass both my armor saves, and then he keeps shooting at them. 
and I roll my armor saves and fail one. So it goes on Belial and I keep it on Belial because he has multi wounds. Drop some pie plates on them. Uh, these pie plates won't go through their armor. Or they will go through their armor. Sorry, I just get my invul. And I fail one. So one knight is dead. And then he's trying to pick on my one remaining Deathwing from that squad uh, that assaulted. And he completely whiffs. But he gets to. And he gets a reroll, but only has with two of them. Two wounds. I roll my two two up saves. Or my two five up invul, sorry. And I pass both. So he's still alive somehow. That is crazy. I get two invuls and I pass both two ups. Uh, luck is just weird today. And then he, he's still alive, so he keeps shooting at him. And he survives again. So then he just tries to assault. I overwatch. Nothing happens. And this is going to be pretty nasty. You kind of see what's going to happen. All these attacks get to go before my guy. And one failed two up and he's gone. But we'll see what happens. I could always survive. You never know. So he attacks with his champion. And that alone kills him because I fail three two up armor saves. So he's gone and he consolidates. Things are just not looking too good for me at the moment. But I'm not going to give up yet. I'm going to see you at the end of my turn and see what happens. But uh, things just aren't going too well for the Deathwing. But that's good. You know. Can't win them all. So, then the next combat, he gets to swing first with his Devastators, gets two hits, two, one wound, I pass my armor safe, then I swing away, and you can probably guess what's going to happen. I, uh, I only kill one, actually. I completely whiff on my to hits, and uh, in the end, he fails his leadership and runs, uh, and I get to consolidate six inches. And now it's my Dark Angels turn three. So right now, I got to keep moving, got to keep scoring my objective. But the problem is right now is he has first blood, and I'm having a big problem get, trying to get, say, the Warlord, since he's just going to keep Samuel out of my reach, out of Belial's reach. Um, but I figure I might as well. So I start shooting the Land Spader with the Land Raider. All my Assault Cannon hits. And with that Multi-Melt again, I roll it, and I whiff again. Uh, Multi-Melt is just not being my friend today. And I get two pens. He gets two cover saves. Two five up jinx. Fails both. So it's going to die for sure. But we just roll to see if it explodes. Just for fun. And it does explode. But it can't. It really won't hurt anybody. So roll a distance. Five inches. And I think it actually gets uh, one guy. I think one biker. Yep. So it gets one biker. So does it hurt him? It needs sixes to hurt him though. So I need a six to hurt him. And it doesn't hurt him. But it's okay. I got to pop it. And then I shoot. I try to shoot the other Lance Peters. Right now, if I figure if I can just hold on to my objective, and if I can get lucky to get Linebreaker eventually, maybe I'll be able to bounce the Knights up the field and get them, or keep my other guys in close combat if they can survive the Overwatch. I'd be in great shape, but uh, Twin-Linked Salvo Plasmas are pretty nasty. So I get two hits with my Assault Cannon. I'm sorry, two pens. And he rolls his cover saves, and one... Passes one failed, so I roll to see if it explodes, and it also explodes. So I just popped another land speeder. That's pretty cool. Of course, can't do anything around it, so we just remove it from play. So I shoot the bikes to figure it might as well hurt it. You know, uh, see if I can maybe kill one bike and get really lucky. But no wounds there. So I declare my assaults. They overwatch, and this is pretty funny. He uh, he only hits with. He hits with almost all of his bolters and his meltas, which is so crazy. Both his meltas wound, and I fail both my invuls, and I fail my two-up lookout, sir. So I lose Belial, and I lose my one of my guys. So I just lost Slay the Warlord. So things are basically done now, but we're going to continue with combat just to see what happens. But uh, yeah, the game is pretty much over now because he just got Slay the Warlord because I, I was... Really unfortunate to fail both my 3 plus invuls and my 2 up lookouts sir, all on the Meltas. And I try to overwatch my Deathwing and they're dead. So it's a good game. We call it here and it is a Ross's Dark Angel victory. So, so thank you very much for watching this battle report. And if you want to see more awesome 40k league battle reports like this one, click on the link below for a free 7 day trial to the mini wargaming vault. Not only will you get to see this one, you'll get to see other many other wargaming videos, as well as some awesome 40k battle reports. So until next time, this is Jay saying, happy wargaming everyone.